So with the French Open starting in less than a week, we have some huge names that are not playing the French Open this year, and also some players that have some injuries going in to the week before the French Open that maybe had injuries from Rome or before that. Let's go have a look at who is actually officially pulled out and who has an injury cloud over their head going into the second Grand Slam of the year. Starting on the WTA, we have Simona Halep, of course, pulling out because she is still on provisional suspension. Emma Rodicanu pulls out, and she'll be out for a while because of wrist and ankle surgery. Van Udvank has also pulled out. Saville has also pulled out, still recovering from knee surgery. And Anissimova has also pulled out. She's just taking some time away from the game. Hopefully she'll be back maybe for the US Open series in a couple of months. Over on the men's side, we have Brooksby. He's out, still recovering from surgery. Krino Buster, he's been pulling out of tournaments almost every week, so concerning that he is still injured and unable to play the French. Quan has also pulled out. Chilich has also pulled out, which is a shame because he had a really good run here last year at the French, but he's still recovering from knee surgery. Nick Kyrgios also pulling out of the French Open due to injury. He actually had knee surgery. Berrettini also pulling out, which is a shame because he just can't seem to get any consistency going this year on and off the court. Big one, Rafa Nadal. He is also pulled out. Of course, we don't know when Rafa's coming back. We haven't seen him since the Australian Open, and this is the first time since 2004 that Rafa will not be in the draw. And Andy Murray, he's also pulled out, which is a bit strange because he wasn't supposed to play any of the clay court season. Decided to play a few tournaments, but then skipping the big one, I guess, to maybe focus more on Wimbledon and the grass court season. So at this stage, those are the guys that are pulled out. And the players that are in doubt or have an injury cloud over their head, Igor Fiontek. She, of course, hurt her thigh last week, having to retire against Rabakina in the quarterfinals of Rome. So hopefully she's all right after a couple of days rest. Belinda Bencic also in doubt because of a hip injury that she got before the Madrid Open and had to pull out of both Madrid and Rome. So she's a concern going into the French. John Isner, he's pulled out of multiple tournaments due to having a, another child. So more personal reasons for him. And Munar is also in doubt. Not sure what the injury is, but he did pull out of his match against Kokonakis in Rome. So a couple of players there and some serious big names there as well in Bencic and Fiontech who are in doubt going into the French. So there it is, the list of French Open withdrawals and also the players that are going in with some uh, injury concerns. Of course, with Fiontech, we'll keep you updated throughout the week on what her moves are because she did put out a tweet over the weekend saying that she hasn't. she's going to get scanned, she's going to get sort of assessments, uh, just take a couple of days off. So hopefully she'll be all right. Let me know down in the comments below. Who are you going to miss the most? I'm sure Rafa will be the popular answer, but there are other big names. It's not a massive list like it was maybe in Madrid, where we had like, you know, 20 people pulling out. There are some big names. Obviously, Rafa, Murray, Kyrgios, just to name a few, but let me know down in the comments below. Who are you going to miss the most at the French Open this year?